YouTube, what's going on guys? Um, it's your boy Shake Laurent. Um, bringing you guys a breakdown video. It's a 1v4 breakdown situational video. Um, this is just to give you some tips and tricks on how to play uh, situations when you're outnumbered. Um, in this case, my whole team was pretty much dead after this one clip I'll show you. Um, it was a 1v4 situation. I wiped them, brought them back, and we ended up getting the win. This is not going to make you win every single outnumbered situation. These are just tips to help you think a little bit more about the situation and how to come out alive. I feel like I'm the most underrated Warzone player. I stream every single day on Twitch. Uh, link will be in the bio. And yeah, this is my YouTube. I post on TikTok too. So here we go. Um, so I'm gonna play the clip a little bit. I'm gonna show you what's going on. So I get this one kill right here, easy enough. Okay. And I know I'm getting shot from the back. My teammate just stood there. I don't know why, but uh, I knew I was gonna die because there's three guys um, pushing us. So I just ran inside. I somehow lived that too. But now I don't want them to climb out climb the ladder on this right hand side this window building has kid could die dead silence me i'm gonna pause that quick so the kid could have dead silence and climbed the ladder here on the outside and pushed me in or come up the stairs i realized i had a precision airstrike um so i precision myself so i would eliminate any chance of them coming in and i have the time to shield up and i only had two shields left and pretty much i played this whole battle without shields uh, at one point um, so yeah, that's the main thing. That's what you got to think about the situational, uh, of what building you're in and where people could come in from. You got to be on the go thinking about these things, right? So that's one tip right there. If you have a precision airstrike, you know, there's people that can come from the outside from the ladders, make sure you precision yourself. You shouldn't die in that situation. So precision them. We're just going to wait, but now I hear for footsteps. I know there's a guy who was going to try to push me. I hear him somewhere to my left. I know he's somewhere to my left. So there, he came up with a heartbeat. He was right underneath me for a second. So I get the F out. You need to get the hell out. And he was there. I saw him there, and I saw him curl around the building. So I find myself, put myself in a position where I can't get shot anywhere from the right or left, and only front and back. I know it's a kind of a bad situation, but I have enough cover there. So what do I do? I know there's a guy to my right, and I know there's two more guys other than him. So I see him through the door there. And I know he's going to come there. I know he's going to challenge me. But I knew there was people on the buy too. So I basically won that one. There was no thing there at all. No tip there. But this guy. I wanted to ego challenge him because I knew I had still plate left. And that was the guy I needed a full kill. Because the other two, they are in that area. I gave myself an advantage when I knew there was one downed inside that little shack. The little building part. And what I do now is I know that's the other guy there. He needs to go away. So then my whole focus will switch on to those two kids in that building, which makes it a lot easier. But this, you got to have a little bit of gun skill. I'm going to be honest. You got to be able to take out some guys to get yourself in a better position. Luckily, there was no one else. You can see I have three people spectating me, 25 kills, four and nine, right? So I get this guy down take him out and now i know i need to get across because they're going to try to push me so here i know i had one guy down but i knew the guy got the res off that was the guy who got the res off but this guy right here i knew he was going to be weak i knew he was going to be weak because when i was running across i heard the res go off it's a lot about sound too and that's how you're going to play these positions you know the sound and you know what's going on so i knew the guy was going to get his res off and i know there's two guys left in there and my biggest concern was finding the guy who I downed. And that's what I knew. I knew he was going to be in that building because I did not see anyone run out. So that's how I figured it out. That's why I went in and I came back out. Because I knew that guy was shielding because I heard him put the shield on. You should be able to hear that easily. I mean, I can with these Astros or a lovely headphone. So I knew he was shielding and I knew he was somewhere around this corner. That's why I went in quickly and I came out. So I go in there. I knew I got him out. Now I need to find this guy. I thought he was somewhere to my left. He went through the building. And I know I'm hearing him to my left. What you guys need to do in these situations where you got literally no shield, you got nothing left on you, you need to be able to, you got to be moving around. You can't be stationary. You can't be crouching. You need to play it on the aggression. You have to do the unexpected. That guy probably thinks that I'm going to not chase him down and I'm going to try to shield up or whatnot because they know they hit plates off me. But that guy is probably thinking I'm going to try to shield up because I killed another of his mates. So he's trying to run away from me, but I am trying to push him at the same time so I don't give him any comfort. You need to push that, and I'm jumping around. I'm trying to bunny hop. I'm trying to get the angles, and I'm trying to play behind the cover, but I know he's the last guy left. 
So I'm going to go keep pushing him, keep pushing him. See, look, he was unaware that I was going to come through. He was trying to listen for my footsteps because I was jumping left and right. And I was moving a frick ton. So that's why he didn't expect me. That's why his aim went from left, right. And that's the way I was able to kill him with absolutely no shields. And he could barely get a shot off on me because he didn't know where I was coming from. So the biggest takeaway from this video is that you guys need to move around, know what kind of building you're in, and where the climb up spots are, where people can flank you from in those kind of situations. And gun skill is very important in these situations. You gotta hit upper body. If you're shooting lower body, you gotta try to take out someone with minimal damage to yourself. Like you gotta be able to aim right at their head or upper body somewhere with a powerful weapon. Um, and that's the only way I can explain it to you guys. I know people will bullshit you, but this is not a bullshit video. I'm here to let you know how the game works. You gotta aim upper body. You gotta get your aim better if you want to win these situations. Sometimes it's luck too. But here, you gotta hear for footsteps. You gotta hear for shielding. You gotta know when to make the power position plays. Like I had to run across, got in the building, took care of business, and it was easy peasy, right? I made it look kind of easy. But the thing is, what's going on in my headphones, what's going on in my head, thinking about the situation, I think about it a million times. And this is not the only squad wipe I had. Um, I've had multiple squad wipes, but you gotta think to yourself, how many players are left? how many people are pushing you, which building you're in, and how you're going to play it. You want to gain distance as well. Um, that was the biggest thing in my earlier gunfight. I'll show you um, here, uh, right here. This is where I try to gain distance. I didn't want to challenge him because I wasn't comfortable. I wasn't comfortable enough to fight close range with him because I felt like someone else could have pushed me at the same time. And then when I got into a double team situation, it's hard with two shields. I need to be full shielded, so I gained the distance on him, and I felt like my gun skill was better than him, so I challenged him, and I knew I would have taken him out because he didn't know where I was the whole time. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Check out my Twitch. I stream daily, and always I'll be posting more if this video gets more likes and if this uh, does good. Appreciate you guys. Enjoy your day and like and follow for more guys.